In this video, I will discuss one way to model deviations from ideal gas behavior. It is recommended that you review the videos on ideal gases and gas velocity before watching this video. The objective of this video will be to explain conditions when gases can be assumed to behave ideally and one way to model deviations from ideality using the van der Waals equation. Here are two key assumptions that we have made thus far in our discussion of ideal gases. The first is that ideal gas molecules themselves occupy a negligible volume. The conditions under which this is true is for low pressures. Having a relatively small number of molecules in the container implies that the volume of the container is substantially greater than the volume occupied by the gas molecules themselves. The other assumption is that ideal gas molecules do not exhibit attractive or repulsive forces between one another, nor with the container walls. This assumption is generally true under high temperature conditions because molecules have a, a higher average velocity at higher temperatures. This means that when they approach each other, they have very little time to interact and therefore attract one another. So what this means is that ideal gases are, or gases generally behave ideally under low pressure, high temperature conditions. You might be wondering, well, what about samples that behave under different sets of conditions? For example, what if we assume that gas molecules do occupy some volume? The impact of gas molecules occupying volume means that we would need to adjust the ideal gas law to account for this. Let's think about the impact of the pressure. This is how we would write the pressure of an ideal gas, which assumes again that molecule volume is approximately zero. The impact on the pressure if gas molecules occupy volume is that the pressure of the gas sample would increase when compared to the ideal gas model. It follows that the mathematical expression for pressure would have a smaller value in the denominator when gas molecules occupy volume. This can be shown in the right-hand expression, which takes into account the number of particles in the sample and a constant b. Importantly, the constant b physically accounts for the actual volume occupied by gas molecules. The larger the value of B, the larger the molecules. What if gas molecules, we assume that they attract each other, and so they, they do exhibit these attractive and repulsive interactions. Again, we can compare the pressure of the ideal gas model to what we would expect if gas molecules exhibited attractive or repulsive interactions. The impact of gas molecules attracting one another is that the pressure of the gas sample would decrease when compared to the pressure calculated using the ideal gas model. This is because the molecules are attracting each other and therefore colliding less frequently with the walls of their container. It follows that a mathematical expression for the pressure would have a second term to account for the attractive forces, which is shown here as a n squared over v squared. Here, a is a constant that accounts for gas molecule attractive forces. The larger the value of a, the stronger the attractive forces in that sample of gas. These two corrections to the ideal gas law are combined into what's called the van der Waals model. This is used to model so-called real gases. It can be shown that when A and B equal to zero, the van der Waals equation reduces to the ideal gas equation. This is rational because when A is equal to zero, gas molecules do not attract one another, or repel one another, and when B is equal to zero, gas molecules occupy zero volume, otherwise known as the ideal gas assumptions. We can obviously rearrange this equation to solve for the mo or to uh, express it in the most common form of the ideal gas expression, PV equals NRT. 
This video has been an overview of the conditions when gases tend to behave ideally, and one model that can be applied to describe real gases when these conditions or assumptions are not made. Thanks for watching, and I'll plan to see you in the next video.